Good morning, everyone. It is 8.16 in the morning. Here's a quick reminder to subscribe to my Patreon if you haven't already. You guys have until the end of April to get basically all of the new baby content and first sneak peeks for free of the month the month <laughs> the month of May. Here is everything you get if you sign up in April. So for you basically I am pausing subscriptions in May when I have the baby and also in June. So you will not be getting charged for May and June, but you will still be getting the content that I'm posting. You get first sneak peeks of everything. I want to do a postpartum hospital live, like at the hospital, if I'm feeling up for it, of course. But for $5, you basically get three months worth of content. So, plus all of my previous stuff. Cheaper than a Starbucks coffee. And I am out for the day. Today, I have to go and get some breaded shrimp from our local farmers market because they have gluten-free Trader Joe's breaded shrimp and they're on sale for three bucks a pack and Josh loves breaded shrimp so we're getting a bunch of those and um, I'm also <coughs> I'm also stopping at Wendy's and getting a baby sleeper lot on Facebook and then also going to Value Village, which is a thrift store here because it is 40% off and Josh needs clothes. As much as he likes to pretend like he doesn't need clothes, he 100% needs clothes. So that's what we're doing today. And I'm also going to stop at Wendy's to try the Cinemelt, I think it's called, or the Cine Pull Apart thing, which I'm pretty sure is kind of like the thing that McDonald's used to have, which I think was called a Cinemelt or something. The lighting's really bad, so I'll talk to you guys when I'm have better lighting I think this is as good as the lighting as I'm gonna get but I am going to do a quick little mukbang on TikTok as well as the couple channels I got fries well wedges which are so good they're seasoned wedges ha huh. oh my gosh we were fresh oh my gosh the new Cinnabon pull apart oh my what the heck wait that looks okay <laughs> okay and then i got a b sausage no <laughs> croissant blt breakfast sandwich with no bacon so there's like lettuce tomato mayo swiss cheese no regular cheese egg and a croissant yeah and then i got a frosty chino chocolate i got this huge box off of facebook marketplace for a hundred dollars let's see what we got okay first thing is we got these cute little carter shoes we got some little nike shoes we have some little mittens that are in here we got some new soothers or pacifiers in canada i see everyone say soothers in america i see people say pacifiers i don't know and then we have some small medium swaddles how old do they are they usually when you use like a small swaddle is it like newborn or what oh my gosh so cute this is my aesthetic which is why i got it so cute i'm trying to keep everything folded she put it so nicely in. everything's washed i can literally smell it oh it's all my aesthetic for a hundred dollars this is so many clothes i'm so blessed It's really not my aesthetic, but it's cute. I don't care what anyone says. If they're like, who cares if it's not your aesthetic? Well, I do. She will not be wearing this. Don't care. You can you can say I'm crazy. I don't care. <gasps> oh my, stop. Are you? I'm going to freak. Another swaddle. Oh my gosh, I'm running out of room. I got this because there was a lot of sleepers in here with zippers and I was like, this is my problem of what I'm been having an issue finding. Oh my gosh. I literally don't even have room to do all of this right now. I am, this girl is incredible and it all smells like laundry detergent. Oh, look at all of these zipper sleepers. Oh, thank you, Lord. Oh. This is adorable. She's my rainbow baby. Ah! Oh my gosh. I just want to freak out. I want to freak out. <laughs> oh my gosh. Stop it. That's so cute. 
Ooh, is this a huge sleep sack? <gasps> oh my gosh, yes. I'm running out of room. I might have to do it part two, guys, at home because I'm running out of room. <gasps> With a little bow? Are you kidding me? This is a steal. This girl is amazing. I'm so blessed. I cannot. I'm so thankful. Absolutely not. She's not wearing that. <laughs> daddy's mini so cute she better not be i'm just kidding <laughs> oh my geez okay i i thought i was gonna be able to go through this i haven't even touched it i'm gonna do a part two okay so i'm home and i changed my camera battery i got three bags of breaded shrimp gluten free but i'm stupid so they have a flyer every week and this week they were promoting gluten-free traders joe's Trader Joe's gluten-free breaded shrimp for $3.99. So I go and I grab them and I go to the cash register and it says $5.99. I don't say anything because I'm like, clearly it's my mistake. And then I go and look at the flyer and even though it was for this week, it's only on Friday in like the fine print. So I paid full price for breaded shrimp when I went there because it was $3.99. <laughs> but $5.99 for something gluten-free and all this shrimp for a whole meal is pretty good. And this is the first time I've ever had anything from Trader Joe's because we don't have Trader Joe's here. Look. And then I got these, which were actually the most expensive part, but I really, really wanted it. This is um, green salsa and it has a jalapeno on it. So I'm like, I want to try it, but it was $8, <laughs> but it's gluten-free and all of that. No gluten, no sugar, whatever. And then I also got a habanero, no, a medium one. I was going to get the habanero one, but that seems too spicy. Because we're out of salsa and I have wraps and I want to make like breakfast burritos. So we have those. And then I also stopped at Value Village and I spent $26, which originally was supposed to be 40, 47. And then I had a coupon and it brought the whole thing down to 26. So I got this, this ended up being like three bucks or something. It's just like a purple regular thing. I live in these, so I got that and it was three bucks. So I'm like, why not? And then I got this, this is super oversized, but it's Puma and this was only $6. And it's super oversized, but like that is so cute. Like at nighttime, I could just throw this on. It's Puma, adorable. It's literally an extra, extra large. Watch me put it on saying it's so oversized and that it fits me snug. <laughs> and then Josh got one shirt. This was $2, well, no, $4, $4 I think. He got one singular shirt. And then I got this also. This is Fila, I think. Yeah, and this was really cool. And I think, again, I just thought this was nice in like the summertime at nighttime. This was $17, but then it was 40% off. So I don't know. All I know is that all of these four items and three of, two of them are name brand were 26 bucks. Oh, and then I'm gonna finish this haul. I'm gonna show Josh what we got because I still haven't finished going through the thing. I don't even know what we have. I literally haven't even finished it. It was significantly more clothes than I thought. I thought I was getting like 10 pieces. There's probably 25 pieces of clothes in there. This also came with three, no, four hats. So cute, a, lo a little bow. This is one of my favorite outfits. It's so cute. Oh, are you kidding me? That is cute. So stupid. Another bow. Josh wants to leave, go back to work so bad. No, I don't. Yeah, that is mini. That's cute. No. Throwing it out, not putting that into the world. She like hooked us up. I don't think you get it. Little bibs, burp cloths. Another one. Another one. Another one. Like we are, like this is insane. Another one. Another one. I just, I can't. This is adorable. More. We don't have any of these, by the way. Are those just awesome? They're just like. Yeah, burp cloths. Um, Cause like when you're burping them, you want to put this on. So yeah. if she throws up, you can just put it in the thing. Or blankets, you can use it for whatever. It's a little bathing suit. <laughs> <That's> stupid. <laughs> mm, we'll keep it in case she needs a hat. And there's cats on it. That's cute, bucket hat. She's supporting her brother. Oh. What? And more. I'm trying to get down here, go down. Look at, we got hooked up. I don't think you realize. He was too, that's hilarious. That's everything. 
Okay, so my mom got me this car seat for baby girl. Not for Kappa, even though he's sitting on it. And I thought it was the Graco turn to me, and it's the extent of it, so that was my mistake. So she's like, just go exchange it for the one that you want. However, they don't have the Graco turn to me, and they also don't have the Nuna Rev, which also turns. I want one that's going to turn because Josh has a truck. So trying to get a, like a toddler out of a truck, oh my gosh, like I want it to turn. Um, so I'm thinking of going to get the Graco, oh my gosh, what's it called? <laughs> Graco Revolve 360 or something, but then I hear so many if like different stuff about that. Like some people are like, it's going to be recalled or it sucks and some people are like, I love it. So honestly, I, I tried to do my own research on car seats, but I decided there's no point of doing research on car seats because literally half the people will like them, half the people won't. One kid is okay with it, one kid isn't. Like I, I don't know. So I'm just going to get whatever I can with what we have and deal with it as the time comes. So yeah, we're going to go, I'm going to go try and find the Graco um, Revolve right now is originally like $700 at Walmart, but it's on sale for $469 and I will get to like $400 back for this. So that's what we're going to try and aim for. I don't really know what I'm doing. There's too many car seats. I don't know how people pick car seats and strollers and all these things and mattresses. It's too scary. Right, baby? Okay, we're back home. We couldn't exchange it, but uh, we did put the money back on my mom's card, but Kappa can play fetch. Let's see if he watch. Watch, he's gonna embarrass me now. You know when you're like no, trying to... Oh, no, he's not. You know when you try to show off like your kid or your pet to a friend, you're like, look what they can do, and then they don't do it, and they embarrass the shit out of you? That's what he's gonna do. Oh, he well, came back up without the spring. <laughs> Hello, everyone. It's probably been a couple days. I have been super inconsistent with vlogging because honestly, I plan to do all these things and then I end up just being tired or whatever. But as you can see, I have some reusable bags because I'm going shopping. I am going to get some baby shower items right now. My baby shower is officially in 16 days. So I'm going to get some last minute, like just little decorations. I'm not going too much, like I'm not going all out. Like obviously I have the arches that I built and that's like the, to the extent that I'm doing. Just because I really don't want to spend much on decorations that I'm like literally never going to use again. So I am going to get some and then I'm going to also get a bin of places where I can keep decorations, like ones that are like universal, because obviously um, now that we're gonna have a baby, we're gonna have like birthday parties and stuff. And I feel like I always do this thing where every event I go and buy new decorations and then I just throw them out. I never actually keep them because in my head, it's just like a waste to keep them. But I need to get a bin where I'm like actually storing all of these universal like items, like plain balloons, um, things like that. So we're just gonna go. I was gonna go to Dollarama, but I'm gonna go to Dollar Tree because Dollarama now is up to five dollars. Okay, one item can be five dollars. Dollarama isn't even cheap anymore. Like I think me and Josh got like four or five items. I would say two weeks ago, and it was like sixty something dollars. Okay, like it was insane, and it was not even anything crazy. So I'm gonna go to Dollar Tree because everything at Dollar Tree, as far as I'm aware, is still $1.25. Watch me go there and they're like, we changed it to $1.75. Ugh, who knows? So I forgot to bring my water. I am so thirsty during pregnancy all of the time. And I don't have gestational diabetes, I that was ruled out. And I am just severely thirsty all the time. Like I just, I. And I've been like eating so much ice. I do have low iron, but I'm not even eating it because of like the ice. I'm eating it because I'm so thirsty. And I, it's the best way to get like liquid in my mouth all the time. So I think we should stop and get a drink. <sighs> Maybe I'll just get a, a drink at the Dollar Tree. <laughs> Cause I don't want pop. I don't really want juice. I want like just water. But also what kind of sounds good is like a sparkling water or a vitamin water sounds good too. 
I really like the lemonade vitamin waters. Um, so yeah, so we only have two more weeks of school. I'm so, I don't think you guys understand how excited I am to be done with school. Like, I'm sure you guys, if you've ever been to school, <laughs> you probably, like college and stuff, you probably are aware of how nice it feels to be done school. And I could not even imagine like people that were going for like a specific career and almost being done, that must be so rewarding and relieving. Cause I'm finishing school and I really don't get anything out of it. Like it's just kind of like the first step into ever going back to school. But I will say I'm very proud of myself for ever even, honestly, I really thought I was gonna sign up for school and then not go. I'm like, or drop out. I'm not even kidding. I really did. And like, especially because I literally started school in September, found out I was pregnant in September. It was like, right when I started school, I found out I was pregnant and I was like, okay, like I'm probably gonna drop out now. Nope, I did it. And I'm so glad that I stuck with it. And I'm so glad that I'm almost done. And hopefully I'm on president's honor roll again for the second semester and we'll be good to go. I'm also going to a place called Mercado. It's a local store here and they have great deals on meat all the time. So I'm gonna go get some chicken legs probably and things like that. And then I'm also gonna stop at Value Village or Goodwill, probably Goodwill because Goodwill is cheaper. And I'm going to get some ceramic mugs. Now, I fell for the trend of like, you know those, you know those mugs that are clear, they're glass and you can see through them. I got those when they were really popular, like two years ago, and I absolutely hate them. For one, they're super thin, so nothing stays warm in the mugs. It's just pointless. And it, I don't know why, but it's just like, you know when you get a coffee and it's in a disposable cup, an iced coffee? An iced coffee is always better in a disposable cup. Or like how fountain pop is always better than like in a can. That's how I feel with hot coffee. Like hot coffee to me is so much better in like a nice thick ceramic mug versus the little thin clear ones that I got that are like not even, I'll put a picture here. You guys can see what I'm talking about. I feel like my coffee doesn't hit the same. I don't even know if it's in my head or what it is. My just coffee, my coffee does not hit the same. Just like iced coffee without a straw doesn't hit the same, you know? <laughs> so um, I'm not going to get brand new mugs. I'm just going to get maybe, I'm probably going to get like two mugs or something from, if Dollar Tree has some for $1.25 that I really like, I might as well just get it there because it's $1.25. Um, so either Dollar Tree or Goodwill, I'm gonna get some mugs and I want them to be taller because I feel like my mugs that I have are not enough coffee for me. And I've been like sickly obsessed with hot coffee, which I'm an iced coffee girl, so I don't know what's going on. I do have some makeup on today. I am wearing the called La Roche P P whatever are you going or not no okay bye I tried to let this person in but they didn't want to go um La Roche P Pose or whatever I think it's called their tinted foundation sunscreen thing which is not it's literally a full coverage foundation and I couldn't return it and I'm so upset I literally asked the girl I was like and I feel bad because she was so sweet but I'm like hey I need like a tinted sunscreen for everyday use and she's like oh and it has to be mineral based right and she's like oh here buy this one girl it was full coverage it's a full-blown foundation full coverage like I'm not like so I mixed it with my moisturizer and that seems to be like a good glowy finish all right we're here at dollar tree let's go see what we can find going to a store you know how they always say don't go to the store if you're hungry it's the same thing don't go to the store if you're pregnant because then you want to buy a bunch of <laughs> stuff you don't need why are those cute why do i like those <laughs> Okay, well... Now that I'm editing this with a normal mind, I'm realizing, oh my gosh, Carly, this is just stupid and dramatic. I don't know why I cried. It was definitely pregnancy hormones because this is, like, not even a big deal. <laughs> I think I was just, like, overstimulated or something. I don't know. Dramatic. I know this is dramatic, but it it's funny and it's so typical Carly. <laughs> I'm being really 
really dramatic, but I had to carry like four boxes to my car by myself because they wouldn't let me bring the cart outside. And I had my purse and I had like four boxes and they were glass and they were heavy. And I dropped one on the way to my car and it was all over the parking lot and then people were trying to get into the parking lot but I was pregnant trying to bend over and grab it and then I was embarrassed and then I was sad because I just spent all this money on these decorations that are now broken and I'm being really really dramatic but I'm pregnant and I was having like a hot flash and I was having a panic attack already and then I freaking dropped the box of like 15 things with glass in it all over the ground <laughs> and like I would not cry o over this otherwise and I'm so hot and none of my bras fit so I don't have a bra <laughs> I need fresh air <laughs> it's so dramatic to cry like there's literally nothing to cry about and I'm so thirsty and I don't know where she put my Powerade that I got <sighs> one minute update <sighs> I am drinking my Powerade, which is immediately making me feel better. But I put makeup on today because I had to do fashion over TikToks. And now this is what I look like. So. I just went to look at the time and the time isn't even, I didn't even, like I looked at the time but I didn't register the time, you know what I'm saying? Like, but go, I'm going to see what time it is. And then I just like looked at the clock and didn't actually realize what time it is. It's literally exactly 12 o'clock. So I have an hour before Josh is on lunch. So I was going to go grocery shopping to get like this meat that was on sale, but we don't really need groceries. So I'm just going to leave it. We don't really need to go there. Um, <sighs> I don't know what else to do. And I was going to stop at Tim Hortons to try the new pinwheels. Which if you're in Canada, you know what I'm talking about. They're like these like savory, they kind of look like croissants, but like, like the texture of like a croissant or like a pastry in a pin. And then they're like filled with, I think one is like Parmesan and onion and then one is red pepper and, but they look really, really good. And I was going to get one, but because it's already almost like it's 12 and we're going to eat in an hour. I'm prob I'm gonna just make like a veggie sub. So I'm not gonna get a pinwheel. Because if I eat a pinwheel right now, and they're pretty big, they're like this big. And I wanna try both of them, and that's like a whole meal. So I'm not gonna get that. And this power rate, actually, I don't even think I was hungry. I think I was just severely thirsty. So let's go to Value Village. I did look at some mugs in Dollar Tree. I had to leave because I was like having a hot flash or whatever. I was sweating so bad in there that I was like, I need to leave. Like I, I ha actually couldn't finish my shopping because I was like, I need to go. So um, I'm going to go to Value Village and try to find some mugs. Going. Also, I cut my hair this morning. I gave myself a trim and it, my hair looks so much more healthy at the bottoms. Look at that. Love when they still look dead. <laughs> I'm like, they look so healthy. They look... No, they definitely look like... In my opinion, they look better. I don't know. <laughs> I went to Value Village and I found these mugs. They're really nice. They match my house. They're my beige aesthetic, clearly. And they're actually really big. They look smaller on camera. But compared to our mugs that we have, they're really big. And I like how thick the ceramic is because... Um, I feel like it's actually going to keep stuff warm. Our other ones keep nothing warm. And then it says they're handmade, which is really cool. Mm. Handcrafted and hand painted. And I got a I got six of them for six ninety nine, but then I had a thirty percent off coupon. <sighs> so I basically saved taxes. <laughs> Welcome to Canada. But still I got six of them and they're so nice and they're like heavy duty. You could tell that this is like a good quality mug. So six of them for six bucks was actually cheaper dollar tree is now a dollar 50 not a dollar 25 in canada so this was actually cheaper than buying brand new ones from dollar tree so oh my god are those two different sizes 